Is there any better way to celebrate the Halloween season than by watching videos of witches? From nightmarish entities floating towards people's back doors to witch-like figures dancing alone at 3 a.m., these are more real witches caught on camera. Good luck getting a good night's rest. Well, this is horrifying. The video shows this rusted white van parked outside. And in the background, you can hear this strange noise, almost sounds like an animal whimpering or crying. As the clip goes on, something weird appears in the sky and starts moving toward the van. The person filming this is hiding behind some curtains, rightfully so, trying to get a look at what's happening. And when they finally peek out again, they see a cloaked witch-like figure standing on top of the car, staring right at the camera with glowing eyes. It starts to move closer, floating down from the car. It almost looks like it's swimming through the air. It's very eerie. And that's when the person filming freaks out and runs away from the window, understandably. Now, this clip has gone viral, with people on social media trying to figure out where it was filmed. Some say it was shot near a crematorium in Bihar, while others claim it's from Meerut and also near a crematorium. It's a quality video for sure, but what do you all think? Is this one a hoax or a genuine piece of paranormal footage? All I know is it's creepy. So you can uh, all thank me later for this terrifying thing showing up in your dreams tonight. Yeah, you're welcome. Just what in the hell is that thing? Well, there's not a lot of info on this video, but there is a vague internet urban legend behind it. Supposedly, a girl was kidnapped by an elderly woman. The girl ended up showing up again, but was in this state, almost like a living doll, a very creepy living doll. Sounds like something a, a witch would do to me, grab a young person, do some spells on them, turn them into whatever this is. Now, whether there's any truth to that story or not, I don't care, it's a creepy video, and I will probably be seeing this thing when I close my eyes in bed tonight, unfortunately. How would you react if you saw this peeking out of your attic. Yeah, I wouldn't uh, feel all that good about it myself, so a lot of people have said they think this video could be faked, but there is actually a real news story behind it. This happened in Poland on New Year's Eve in 2022. Police were called to a home in a small village. A woman named Kamilka had barricaded herself in the attic, making odd animalistic growling noises. Some say she'd been messing with a Ouija board before she started acting all strange, and then her family got concerned and phoned the police. And when authorities got there, they found her in a small crawl space or attic space. And she was refusing to cooperate with police. In fact, she wasn't really saying anything. She was just growling at them. It's an unsettling video for sure, especially with context. And some of these growling noises really do sound like something out of The Exorcist. Take a listen. And just for warning, if you're epileptic, you may want to look away for this next bit. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a late night dance, nothing wrong with dancing alone, but would it be slightly unsettling to see this at 3 a.m. in the morning? Well, yes, yes, it would be unsettling, and it was for the dude who captured this footage. He'd been making a late night delivery at an apartment complex when he spotted this person dancing alone. Now, there's a lot that could be going on here. She looks like she might be elderly, who knows what kind of mental state she's in, but I'm sorry. It's still eerie. The witch-like silhouette, the strangeness of the movements, uh, she's got really big hands. The fact that it was 3 a.m. in the morning, yeah, it's freaky. I mean, even seeing an average-looking person dancing alone in the middle of the night in a hypnotic trance would be creepy. So this just takes it up a notch. Once again, thank me for the nightmares later. Take a look at this. Ah yes, a face only a mother could love. If mama were a demonic witch lady who brewed her offspring in a cauldron in the woods. Just what in the seven hells spawned this horrific creature? Here's this demon uh, girl telling the camera person to uh, shut up, by the way, later in the video. <laughs> So, word to the wise here, I don't know if you need me to tell you this, but if something like that is screaming in your face telling you to shut up, just zip your mouth and then just slowly start backing away and hope she doesn't follow you. 
Ever had a wonderful, restless night of sleep paralysis and then woke up in the morning wondering if some sort of dark entity really was in bed with you the previous night? We've all been there, right? There are said to be lots of different sleep paralysis demons, the most famous, or rather infamous, being the old hag. Cultures around the world have stories about ghostly old hags sitting on sleepers' chests, restricting them from moving, haunting their semi-waking nightmares. Very witch-like entities. Well, this person may have captured one of these sleep paralysis demons on camera. Take a look. So that ghostly looking thing sitting up in bed is not the person sleeping, at least according to the uploader. Supposedly a woman had been living in her home for a few years and had been having issues with sleep apnea and sleep paralysis. Someone suggested she put up a security camera in her room and she did. This is what she captured. I also hope she went to a doctor and they gave her some, you know, medication or something. You don't want to ignore sleep apnea, guys. It's uh, it's not a good thing. It'll affect you throughout your life. La Llorona, a ghostly sort of witchy entity in Mexican folklore, a vengeful, dangerous spirit who brings misfortune to whoever comes across her. Well, I feel bad uh, for these people in that case. So a father and daughter were walking alone at night when they spotted something squatting on the hood of their truck. The father starts to approach as his daughter Naomi pleads with him not to get any closer to it, but for the sake of good content. I mean, how can he ignore it? He does. He walks closer and captures this dark demonic figure on top of the car holding what looks to be an infant. The thing just stares at the pair with glowing yellow eyes, cackling and making these eerie growling noises. It's quite the predicament to be in, really. I mean, you just hop into the safety of your car and gun it, hoping La Llorona takes a tumble off the hood, or do you retreat into the night? and uh, try and walk home, hoping she doesn't try and follow you. I don't know, I've never faced this situation before, hope I never do. What's up with the female passenger in this truck? There's something definitely off about her, right? Now, aside from her kind of ghostly appearance, there's a creepy story behind this clip. The footage was taken inside a truck in Mexico. Late at night on March 31st of 2024, a trucker was making a run to the city of Monterrey. The company supervisor was checking in on him using a remote camera, and to his shock, he saw what looked like a woman in old-timey clothes, some say more like 80s clothes, sitting right next to the driver. Now, at first, the supervisor was just kind of irritated. See, he thought the driver had picked up a passenger, which was against company policy, understandably. So the supervisor messaged the driver about it, being like, what's up with this woman in your truck? And the driver just looked at his phone and brushed it off. He thought his supervisor was just messing with him. So he continued along with his drive. When he got to his destination though, the supervisor showed him the dash cam footage and the driver could not believe what he was seeing. He was adamant that no one was with him during the trip, but there was this woman sitting next to him the entire time. Classic urban legend kind of story. I love ghost stories about people picking up ghost passengers along the road. Eh, always get under my skin. This next one is like something out of Children of the Corn. Take a look. Definitely looks like two cloaked figures performing some sort of ritual. Not the type of thing I'd like to see in the middle of the night alone. The uploader said, I heard mysterious sounds surrounding the Alps near my village. I am a migrant worker. I followed the sound and came across strange tall figures standing 3.5 meters high. They were moving what looked like either wings, maybe they were angels. They seemed to be conducting a ritual around a lightning rod. Those rods harbor a lot of energy. Maybe they were gaining energy from that rod. I was scared, but on the other hand, I didn't feel threatened. Still, to see those huge figures in the darkness through misty rain with only my phone's light was amazing. This is something that has completely changed my life and view on life, and now I understand that we really are not the only intelligent beings on this planet. The only thing scarier than a regular sized witch is, you know, an extra tall witch. Take a look at this thing. Yeah, I don't like that. Someone captured this nightmare fuel on the security camera outside their home. Something was crouching and peering at their house from the bushes. A spindly creature with pale skin and glowing eyes. A lot of people say this thing looks like the Slender Man or a rake. Uh, 
the rake creature, not like the tool, obviously. And when it stands up, you really see how tall it is, and I can definitely see the resemblance. But I also do get a kind of witchy vibe here. It almost looks like it might be wearing a black cloak that covers most of its torso. But the featureless face, bald head, and the glowing eyes, it does definitely give off more of a Slender Man feel. Whatever, if I saw that on my home security camera, I'd be packing up my bags right away. I'd sell my home for, you know, a hundred bucks if I needed to, and I'd just be on the road. But what do you all think of these videos? Which one freaked you out the most? Let me know down in the comments. And with that said, I've been your host, James, and I'll catch you, yes, you specifically, in the next video.